<laughs> hey, look who's back. That's right. I'm back. Painting. What's going on? JT. Probably got to move this a little bit more. Like I said, I'm still trying to uh, mess with the settings here. And I had a wireless. It's. Eh. Hey. <laughs> from Lakeland, Florida. I will be going to Florida in about probably June. Don't know where, but we're going. So, yeah. Yeah, and there's Melissa. Yeah, I know. It's weird. JT streaming. So, I need to sit like this. Uh, like I said, I'm not using my wireless. I got a new wireless, and it sounds weird. I don't know if it's my mixer, so I'm doing the boom mic. And I got to forget that, you know, I kind of forget that um <laughs> that I have to stay close to it. Because, you know, if I'm like here, it's like shit sounding. But, yeah, we're uh, back streaming. Going to be going back hard. You know, I'm uh, I was going to start Monday. But, you know what? I'm not doing nothing today. So, I figure we go a couple hours. Um, don't know if we might get the Batman done, uh, the head. I figure I'd start with the, the most detail. Uh because Monday we're going to be doing RoboCop. 
So, uh, and I kind of started on him already, kind of jumped the gun. As you can see, painted the black, and I'm going to do the chrome. Uh, yeah, figure out how to do uh, Batman. Batman. But yeah, it's good to be back, you know, streaming and move the, the garage or the studio back in the garage because it was in the house and I moved it back here. Uh, didn't have enough room. And I want to do different angles, you know, that old deal. And uh, new paint booth, uh, bigger, which I like my old one. But this one's a little bit bigger. The, the lights are better. And I can control the fan, which it's, I'm not going to be turning the fan on because I could tell you, you're going to hear it. See how loud that is? But it has a low setting. You're still going to hear it, but I figure that, uh, see, that's not as bad. That's on the low set. But the other, the other paint booth I have, you can't control the fan. And wireless, it was going through the wireless system, and you couldn't really hear me when I started talking. So I'm like, yeah, I need a new paint booth that can control that. So it's all lesson learned and all that. Move this up front. You know what? Let's give this a different background. I hope they fix this because I went back to my eCam. Because the thing is, but it never saves. Like if I move everybody here, it never saves it. Now let's see. Green. Damn it. And you know me. I always do this stuff on stream, which you're not supposed to, but it is what it is. There we go. Because of Freddy. All right. So, without further ado, see, I changed everything. I'm finally using my GoPro. <laughs> I had this GoPro for about almost, I think, going on two years. I'm like, you know what? I need to use the GoPro. And uh, that's the one thing I liked about my other paintbrush uh, booth is because I need to find a place to hold this because I kind of broke the clip. And it kind of works because there's a lip. But my other paint booth, there's actually a like a, a gap where I can slide the, the, uh, the, uh, the clip. So this might fall. <laughs> that's just a... That's just a just a heads up. I don't know how well, like I said, but I figured I used the GoPro. It's good quality and all that. And uh, instead of using my second camera, like over the shoulder. All right. So what I'm planning on doing, what I see a lot of people do, uh, you'll see pictures of this. This is from uh, Berserk Studios. Uh, it's a 3D uh, little uh, Patreon. And I got this on Etsy, actually, with Superman, which I... I uh, a uh, a sliced Superman. So Superman's eventually gonna be next. It's gonna be a uh, a zombie. But everybody who does it always gives him like a, a gray, like a greenish skin. I'm actually gonna give him a flesh tone around here, and then we're gonna put red here. Uh, you know, cause um, I just don't like the whole bluish grayish skin color on zombies. I don't like it. I think that they're more terrifying when there's actually skin tone. Like, and we're like, so we're going to try to finish this, you know, because this is going to be black through here. And uh, the skin tone is going to take, I think, the longest because I got to see, like, here's skin, but this will be meat right here, you know. And then uh, do the teeth. So, yeah. Let's get to it. So I'm going to do the cow first because that's going to be the most color. Like I said, I got to get through here. Because I was, I primed this uh, last night. So, uh, because I didn't want to prime it during the, uh, the stream. And that's what I think I'm going to be doing every time I paint something. I'm just going to go ahead and primer it and just, you know, 
take care of it. That's why when we stream, I'll start painting it. So this is gloss. That's for Ram uh, Rambo, Robo. Um, I think I had a German, like a German. I think it's German black. I think. And I think I said it somewhere. No, that's out. Yeah. What did I do? Is that it? Yeah, German gray. So I'm gonna do German gray on the ground on the cow. I'm not gonna do a straight black. Yeah, I mean this is cool. Now the Superman's even cooler, and uh, Harley and I got Harley Quinn and Wonder Woman. Harley Quinn's gonna be cool. She's creepy. She comes with sunglasses, so I'm eventually going to be doing all of them. You know. But right now, the printers are not going because uh, I'm waiting on my screen protector from the big one. And I'm having problems with my other pr primer, primer, printer saying that it's not the device. So I don't know what the hell. I had to write Eagle, Eagle, Elgo, and say, hey, something's going on with my printer. And then uh, waiting on the, the Uniformation GK3. That's uh, it's supposed to be a bigger printer. That's probably, I think that's going to be my next printer. Because I'm going to get a third one. All right. So I know this is clean. Because I washed it before I went to bed last night. But yeah, how's everybody doing? Hope all is well. It's been busy, 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 especially at work. It's one of the reasons why I haven't really been streaming that much. Even though I moved to a bigger space, still have no room. Know what I mean, Vern? I drop it off. All right. Yeah, um, I'm going to be airbrushing it. Now, the RoboCop, when I do RoboCop, I'll be actually uh, painting it with a brush because the chrome or the metallic that I'm using is real thick. Some uh, paints that you use is uh, when you put it on by brush, you can see, you know, it's, you can see the streaks. But, uh. That's why it's a lot easier for airbrush because um, you can blend it very well. But sometimes you don't want to use an airbrush. Sometimes you need to use a brush. But on here, because it's so big, we're going to use airbrush. I need a more paint with that. That's too runny. Ugh. Look at that. I just made a mess because the paint don't want to come out. I like Viello, whatever, but I do not like their bottles. Because the damn paint don't want to come out. And then it uh, explodes on you. That's the second time it happened. I think the first time it happened was with the white paint. And you waste a lot. So that's why I might be going to Pro... Uh, what's it called? Pro... But she gets on here. I don't care. I can wipe it off. We're going to airbrush it. But 
but I don't like their bottles because it does that. Hey, Sarah. Just uh, had a bottle explode on me. I didn't even paint yet, and I already got paint all over me. So, yeah. Need to email them and say, you need to do something with your bottles. That and the price before them. <laughs> it's ridiculous at this size. All right. I know this is going to take a lot of paint, just how big it is. So we're going to do one side, and then we're going to do the other side, and then we're going to blend the middle. Like a lot of people worry about overspray, like when it gets to the skin tone, I'm not, because it's going to, uh, we're going to cover it up. I'm really surprised that boom mic's picking that up. Tip it, there we go. Yeah, I mean, puff steam up like this. Yeah, my goal is to at least start on the, because I'm only going to go probably in two hours, maybe an hour and a half, you know, something like that. Because I haven't uh, streamed in a minute on the channel. And I figure this is all just, you know, testing, you know, the the camera and everything. Why the hell is that so dark? Because I don't have I don't have uh, my shutter's not on auto. Oh, seriously? Throw that on the floor. That was just a waste. Well, it's a paint booth, so... I don't want to make it runny, runny, runny. Is when you get to the end of the that sputters. Oh, it sprays.
<laughs> I don't see that. I love Batman and zombies. Yeah. Um, I've been wanting to do this one for a while. And I sliced it. I'm like, you know, we'll do it. And this is a lot bigger. I think I scaled it to 150%, I think. Because this model really ain't that big. And it's cool, you know, when you uh, scale prints, but you're definitely going to use more paint. Like, duh, right? I'll do this side. Put him on the side like that. Here, well, this in just like that. You know what? I can always do this. Zoom it in. Yeah, the fun part, really, when you start painting models is uh, when you get the skin tone, like the eyes, even though eyes can be a pain, it's going to be easy on this one because how big the, the model is. And I always do circles. Some people, you know, well, it depends. Some people, you know, you go left to right, left to right, you know. A lot of times I'll do circles. Really, if I'm trying to blend it in. But there's no reason to blend it in right now. I guess it's just. That's why I like doing light gray primer because it doesn't really take a lot to cover it.
I couldn't imagine dry brushing this because how big it is. I mean, it looked good. It did take forever. Now, see, now we're getting the bottom of the, uh, the paint. You see how runny it is. No, this is a hobby. I, uh, I'm a uh, supervisor on a motor ejection company. So I'm the boss on third shift. But you, but when paint, I mean, you want to kind of make it a little runny because it does spread faster. But you got to be cautious because I don't know if you can see the run right here. Because if you get too close, so if you make it real runny, you got to really step back. All the way, see how I'm all the way out here. And it's covering, which is nice. But some people don't don't want to overspray, which I don't care. Like I said, we can get on the eyes, we can get on the, the skin, we're gonna cover it. See, this is where I don't give it the design because right here looks like part of the cow rip. And this should be his skin tone. But, oh, let me aim this up and show you what I'm talking about. Right, so this is where the cow looks like it ripped. And you can see this is the cow. But they really, what they should have done, okay, I see, now there's a lip and it rips here. But you see these lines right here. It almost makes it look like a knot because the skin. Which is probably that's what they should have done. So now really looking at it. Okay, so yeah. We'll just go ahead and... Like I said, I don't care about the overspray on the eyes. That's another thing about airbrushing. You really don't have to wait that long for it to dry. So there's a skin tone right there, so I gotta, when I do the skin tone, I gotta put a brush. Right underneath that left eye, because I see where I put a skin tone on the second one. Hey, man. Just, uh, starting on back, man. Hopefully, I mean, I can, I'm going to get to the skin tone. I'll tell you right now, because I don't have to put a lot of coats on this to uh, get the skin tone. Which I do like this German gray. I just didn't want to do black, black paint, because everybody does black paint, because it is easier. A lot of people have more uh, black paint than anything. Come right here. We gotta
But I'm going to let him sit for a minute. And let him dry. And then we can chit chat. Because I like sitting it. And letting it dr like dry for like 15 minutes. 10-15 minutes. And we can see if any of the, uh, the primer ble bleeds through the paint. I know we're gonna have scrape marks. Yep. I need to get a towel laid down here. That's why it don't scrape off the paint. Which is technically what I should be doing is after if it doesn't bleed through, we should put a clear coat on it. That's why it don't scratch. But I'll grab a towel or I'll grab a shirt because I can see it's just where it's just barely touched it ripped the scrub the pan off. Oh thanks man. Yeah he's it's really gonna pop when I get those skin the skin tone. And I got the body over there. Like I said, I, I was working worrying about working on the head first and Another stream will be the body and the base, which those are going to be easy. Uh, there's no rips in the in the body. It's just a, you know it's a suit, so it's just you know gray than black. And the base, I'm just going. I think I might make it like metallic black. Uh, but I don't know. It's like what I usually do when I when I getting ready to paint. I sit and look at the models. Like okay, what colors do I really want to do? So I might be set on metallic black, but I'm like, you know, I might put red here, or I might put, you know, maybe uh, some blue here, and you know, it's just something to make it pop. But it is Batman, so you kind of got to do dark colors. But uh, the Superman's the one I can't wait to do. So let's stay right here. I'm gonna leave this set for about 10 minutes. And we'll see if anything bleeds through. If not, we'll start working on the skin tone. And the teeth and the tongue and the eyes. Now the e easy way, or the actually lazy way, is to look in his mouth, you can just paint it black. I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna put red in there. I'm just going there with red to spray. But yeah, I figure I go till uh, probably eight thirty nine because I'm sure Stephen or Craven is gonna stream, and I don't wanna stream while he streams. But there, so we'll let this dry. So yeah, how's everybody doing? I mean, look at that, dude. It's like these just don't like these bottles. Because you'll put a, you know, you pop it in with a tack. Or you put a tack in there, still doesn't want to come out. So that's why I'm looking for other brands. It's like Pro Al Arctic Pro something. I forgot what it's called. I think that's what uh, the next paint I'm gonna try. Because everybody's saying it's it's nice and you don't have to worry about doing a coat like doing a couple coats before it sticks. Hey Jerry, what's up, buddy? We're just uh, just started. Well, hopefully finishing the cowl on Batman. But we'll be working for a flesh tone, like I said, because I'm gonna do a flesh tone. You know what I should do? I should have made another screen just showing 
I'm gonna do that next stream. I'm gonna have another uh, another uh, scene, they call it, or for you would be another shot just of the uh, the print because right now I just do this. Like I said, uh, a lot of people when they do zombie, they do the whole. Uh, let me zoom that down. There we go. Like. When they do this, you know, they give it gray or bluish green. I'm actually going to give it a flesh tone. And I'm going to do a red wash on it. You know, after I clear coat it, really make him bloody. And the eyes are real easy. Like, you see the veins. When you, when you, uh, you scale a, a print this size, especially resin. And if you have a printer that you can, the eyes are a lot easier. But if you're doing like a 1.6, like I usually do, Paint, the, the, the eyes are a pain in the ass. I'm still learning. You know, everything I do, I learn. So, yeah. Hey, DJ, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> Everybody's like, damn, he's back. Yeah, so, um, we're going to be, uh, I got so much I printed now. So, there's definitely going to be content uh, things to paint, you know, now. I mean, there's, I got a lot, you know. Uh, I got him, I got, you know, I have to finish the Freddy Krueger phone, I got the Freddy Krueger glove, I got Freddy, I got Rocky Bobo and Apollo, uh, which I got to finish the base, printing the base on that, that one's going to be a big one, that's, that's going to be big, uh, there's a lot that I have to paint now, and that was the whole point, not streaming or doing anything, just uh, printing stuff, that's why when I start to paint, I can stream, so like, the next stream, like Monday, it'd be Robocop. Then I think what I'm planning on doing, because I'm going to stream on Saturdays, probably about this time, probably about 7. Instead of 5, about 7, uh, that's going to be like Batman. So like Monday and Wednesday, that's going to be Robocop, trying to finish him out. And then we're painting him today. So next Saturday, we'll be working on the body and the base. And I know when we get to the body and the base, it'll be done. Because, like I said, it's basically the gray and black, and it, it's it's done. I mean, I still have to primer it, but I'm going to do that before I, I stream. Because I stated at the beginning of the shift, at the shift, <laughs> the stream, I got a new paint booth, and I can control the fan. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't stream, because I have a brand new wireless mic, but when the fan's going, you can't hear me. And I can't control the fan, so I'm like, I'm going to buy another one. So, Jerry, <laughs> if you want a paint booth, let me know because uh, it's just sitting in the corner, like under the table right over there. And I'm not using it. But I can control and turn the fan off and control the lights. But the bad thing is I'm, I'm using my GoPro here. And uh, the clip broke because I can't. I have to find a, a, a rig for this. Because on my other one, I had a gap that I could put the clip and my, uh, my wireless mic when I'm painting. So it's a, it's a, is that a full scale of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street phone? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it's almost the same size as a real phone. I don't know. I got to get one. If not, it's kind of close. And I thought about blowing it up. And I might print another one because I did it as a whole piece, like his mouth and everything. Actually, I could show you all if I know where it's at. <laughs> what the hell did I do with it? Oh, one second. So this one, this is uh, as far as I got with it. I got to put it in front of my face. So that's as far as I got. I still got to put the gray in and the white. But that's it. See, why is my camera dimming down like that? I think it's the Mac, which I'm really thinking about getting my game PC. But, yeah, this is, uh, like I said, it's, I mean, I think it, re I think it really is because I haven't had these phones in forever. I mean, the last time I had these phones, I think I was 16. And it's, uh, about the same size as the phone. So, yeah, that's it. And I, I have to reprint the bottom 
because when I was cleaning it, there was a little bit of rubbing alcohol or alcohol in it, and it uh, it ate it. So I have to reprint the bottom, but right now I'm waiting for my screen protector on the big one to come in, and my other my Jupiter I see something's wrong with it. It's not. It's not printing. It's like it says the, this is like the device doesn't work. So I'm waiting on Elgo to write me back because apparently there's a problem now, and this that started two days ago. So it's like, and that's why I was trying to print. It was the bottom of uh, this. But yeah, there's a lot of good things coming. On the you know, it's like I'm gonna be getting a shelf. And put it up there with all the, the models I make. I'm thinking about putting a wall, because I'm in my garage right now, and I got blankets, moving blankets around here, as you can probably see right there, and clear out the garage and get rid of the garage door and put a wall, and I'll probably be over there. Yeah, well, you know, if... If he designed it that way, Jules, that's, that's the design, Jules Malinado, I want to give him a shout out over at Patreon. Um, I highly recommend you all going over there if you 3D print and everything. Uh, he does $20 a month, and uh, the $20 a month you get, you get uh, he always does horror, and he does real horror. Not like every once in a while everybody else does, but you also get his comic tier. And he, like this was free. He gave this all his Patreon. So his Patreon free. And uh, waiting on the pin, uh, pinhead. Him finish the pinhead. I got the Freddy from him. I got Candyman from him. Leatherface was him. Ghostface was him. I have. I'm. I'm going to get a shirt that says I'm a Malolato guy. Because that's. I mean, this one right here was Berserk. Uh, it's basically almost the same studio as uh, Wicked. Uh, Wicked. What did I do with Wicked? Uh, uh, Predator. No, Predator was Ber Berserker. Um, what did I print that was Wicked? I don't know. I print so much, I'm starting to forget. Cool. Cool. Yeah, let's say I'm going to be getting a display case because there's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of these I'm going to keep. Yeah, I don't see any bleeding through. So we're going to be starting with the skin tone here in a minute. But yeah. What? See, I'm trying to think. What have I done that was wicked? I'm trying to look around. Well, Robocop is wicked. I know I did more than them. I think I sliced more. Actually, I, I think I don't think I did a wicked. <laughs> I don't think I've done a wicked. STL. The crow was Jules Malato. Like I said, I'm a Malato guy. Um. Shit. Oh yeah, I don't think I did a wicked print. I really don't think so. Unless the Predator, that might have been Wicked. Instead of, it's like, I don't know, I gotta look it up. Yeah. I think Robocop was Wicked. Or not Wicked, but uh, the Predator bust. Which I ain't never doing one of those again. Unless, yeah, we got some bleed through. Okay. All right. You know, I probably really should, uh, at least the sides and the top. Hit this with uh, a matte clear coat. That's why I don't scratch it. I, no. Oh, I probably don't have a towel in here. 
Which that would be kind of weird. It's like, why would you have a towel? Oh, because his computer's in the same room. No, because I want to scratch shit. Because I like this turntable. But it eats paint off. And you just, like, you just barely move it. But I do like this paint booth. It is big. It is taller than the one I had. And it feels like I got more room. And I got to make more paint because there's a lot more at the Floyd Junior. All right, I'm dreading this because I got this spilled over here. I got a mess to clean up. Oh, now you want to pull out. Okay. Well, I'll just, I'll put another coat on this. Why not? Just to be safe. I got to get more reducer. I know I'm running low. But I'm going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. Um, No! Oh, it has a cap on it. Never mind. Um. So I bought transparent paint, uh, clear coat, or clear coat, listen to me, transparent uh, resin, and I bought inks. So the reason why I'm doing that is I have this idea, and you can't see it on this, but This is the base of the Freddy glove, okay? And I'm going to try to get you to see it. This is where it says Nightmare on Elm Street. I know. Apologize. Stop being a dumbass and do it. So you see where it says Nightmare on Elm Street? I know it's kind of hard getting the light, but it says Nightmare on Elm Street right there. Now, it's engraved. Now, the, one way you can do this is, like, if you want it red, you can paint that whole thing right here red, right? And then uh, take a brush, then you paint your black or whatever. Well, I had the idea, because it's engraved, I got these precision bottles right here. And I'm going to fill it with clear resin, and I'm going to put, like, red ink in it, and then... In theory, I should be able to put this in here, squeeze it, fill it up, and then take the UV light, which I have somewhere, and cure it. And I think that'd be a lot faster process than just painting. Especially if you're going to scale these up. You know, it's just a just a thought. It might work. It might not. If it don't work, it means I have to scan or I have to print this bottom, which only takes like eight hours i'm not sweating it but you know that's the same as the nightmare on elm street phone the nightmare on elm street phone uh is engraved and it's it's a pain in the ass to get a, pr a brush on there so yeah plus if i do another predator i have neon green i can make it look like it's bleeding i can because what's so cool with resin is you can drop it and if it's running, you can hit it with a uh, UV light, and it cures it instantly. So I can get a, a cool like like blood running down and stuff. Try doing the flying monkeys. <laughs> All right. I know I'm gonna have to touch this up when I get to the flesh tone. Yeah, so I can say, I think I scaled this up to 130. I know the head's bigger than the body. 
so I had to break the bottom and I got to make it work. Let's get rid of this. Cut that over there. And I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier, but where the hell is my favorite towel? So I can just go. What I am? Ain't gonna hurt anything. Just give it a quick second coat. I'm gonna look into getting like a stand made for heads so I can actually put it in there and I can tilt it so many ways. Because that'd be a lot easier than this and if I don't have to touch it, it's just almost kind of like a gimbal in a way. For models, it's just, I just gotta tilt left, right, and I can hit. Probably won't be hard to make, but you know, it's one of those I gotta sit down and say, like, how am I gonna do this? You know, because You really don't want to touch it, even though it dries pretty quickly. Like your hands might be like, like me, has paint on it when it dries up. Hey Val, is Val here? Oh, uh, like I'm going big, like I'm going to put a TV right here. <laughs> Because I'm always looking, and I, I try to catch as many comments because I got a computer screen right there, but it's just, it just, it's, I have no room. Even though I have my desk right here, I have no room. I'm putting a TV right here. I'm waiting for the wall mount to come in, and I will put it right here, and the chat's going to go right here. So I can just look up, and I can see the chat. Like I said, we're going big. We're moving up in the world. So yeah, there should be a stud. If not, that's gonna be tricky. And I think that's uh, right there. that might do it. That's right there. Right there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to brush some of the skin tone on. Which I haven't done yet before, which should be okay because the the skin tone said it it's a pretty thick paint. Yeah, so I say the cow's actually done now. I mean I really should hit it with a clear coat matte, but I just don't want to cover the eyes. You know because uh, I'll be painting those. Or should I go ahead and paint the eyes and get that over with? So I don't have to worry about it. See, I need to find something I can... I'm redneck the shit out of this, using t paint bottles and... I mean, that's... Uh... I didn't see that. Surgery time. Shit, that's in there. There we go. Yeah, see, it's sticking to my hand. 
All right. Yeah, we're not going to clear code it. We're going to... Damn it! See? That quick it comes off, which I'm not worried about the eye. If it comes off that, I can paint the eye anyway. I'll go ahead and cover the eye. Damn, I still didn't get that. <laughs> These damn things are sharp. I mean, I should know. I cut myself a few times at the end. All right, how much paint? That's one thing. I don't like wasting a lot of paint. I'd rather just put it on the model, even if it don't need it. it paint's expensive. Best of the yellow, I think it was what it's called. Hell, I don't know. All right, so I got to clean this up. And I guarantee I left my rubbing alcohol by the, the K1 Max. One second. Okay. I don't know where my rubbing alcohol is. Which, that's what I use to clean out my airbrush. Because uh, you use rubbing alcohol. I don't like using reducer. Some people use reducer. And you just really waste it because this is where you you mix it. But rubbing alcohol cleans it out quickly. One paint I hate switching. I'm thinking about getting an airbrush that has a the siphon, so I can switch the bottles out faster. Cause I like gravity, but man, when you if you got to switch a lot between paint, which I know I could probably just get like a another airbrush and paint it my dark color, but I don't I don't I don't want to do that. So I'm thinking about getting, like I said, a, a siphon there. And just put all the, the colors I need in them. All right. Do 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 do. So we need natural. Uh. See, there's the base. Red. 
radish splash. We might use that, some of that. All right. And power lights, okay. So we get some of this base. All righty. Build up. You know, good old JT's focus when I'm quiet. <laughs>
<laughs> if I have to take this out and clean it, I'm so pissed. Oh, this, this is going to be stupid, but ah, damn it. Feels like it's warm. Hey. Well, you turn that shit down now. Hey Josh. What's up, buddy? I'm not really worried about getting it on the cow. Now we got a couple coats on it. I just take a brush to it.
So, actually, what we're going to do. Oh, no, Ohio, Idaho, huh? Yeah. So. Hang on. Doing something quick. And then we're gonna go. Ah. So there. So what now when I start talking about it, we just go, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, man. I used to live the at a house. Um and uh, it was literally like 10 minutes from my work, but I was right next door to me was a liquor store. Across the street was a gas station and Waffle House was uh, right next to the liquor store. So like, and I had Arby's across the street. So I was like, boom, boom, boom. It was nice, but the house needed a lot of work. And they wanted to sell it to me. I'm like, yeah, I'll be dumping more money in this. So we moved here. But now it's not that bad because, like, a mile away, we got a McDonald's, a Burger King, a Thornton's, and then uh, a, a Dollar General. So when you get older, you just you realize you need more things than a Dollar General than you do uh, anything else. All right, 8.30. Okay, so we'll go on uh, till 9.00. And let's say I should, uh, I say I, I'll be finished with the flesh tone and then we'll finish this next Saturday. Yeah, I mean, I like Waffle House, but they're expensive now. Last time we, I think the last time we went there was probably five years ago, and I was like, how much? And it's not like we got a lot. So now we got the base down. Now we got to go to the natural flesh. I never put highlights in my prints. I don't, I mean, I get why people do it, but I don't at the same time, because if you're setting it in a light, it's going to have a highlight anyway. And I never try to make my stuff realistic. You know? But like just putting skin tone on him, you see how... It really, the model really starts to pop. That's too much. You know, it's like, so when we get the skin tone and we mess with the teeth and the eyes, you know, this thing's really going to pop. I don't know, and I might do shadow in the crevices, but I might give them a wash. That's another time, a lot of times I don't do a shadow. I just put a black wash on them, and it is a horror, so I'll probably do like a black wash and then a gray, uh, uh, brown wash. And just doing a wash really gives it another, you know, of details, just another layer of detail that makes things pop. And that's why I kind of like doing horror characters, because 
you know, I don't really see a clean horror character. So you got to put a wash on them when you do. They really pop. So now it's time to clean the air gun, uh, airbrush again, which doesn't take that long with the flesh tone. I mean, technically, I could probably just put the uh, natural flesh in here and it'd be fine, but it's one of those you want to get used to doing. Just clean it out, even though you don't. Like I said, I prefer using rubbing alcohol, like. Not like 99%, but like 91%. You get a like dollar chin rule and everything. And rubbing alcohol completely cleans the, uh, the airbrush out. And then when I let it set for 24 hours, a lot of people put a reducer in it uh, and let it set. I put rubbing alcohol on it, and they'll set for a whole week, and it won't rust anything. I just don't like wasting reducer because it's it, it, the good reducer. It's, it's not really cheap. the rest of it out right there all right now time for my natural flash oh natural the hell what's that blue <laughs> no, that ain't bad, man. That ain't bad at all. Especially part time. I know I'm going to put my hand in that. I know I am. I know I am. All right. I really love this paint set. The flash down. I mean, it is worth the money. And this is really all I do. Because, you know, I put a base. Because it says base. And then the natural flesh. And then I put a wash on it, and it's like, it pops, man. Like I said, a lot of people have put highlights in it, because, and I really need to learn how to do highlights, because that, that's another, I mean, it's called the fairy, fairy flesh. But I <coughs> Excuse me, I swear that there was one that said highlights. But I'm thinking the fairy flesh is like one woman woman's skin tone i'm assuming because there's the burnt flesh which you know you all can assume <laughs> maybe what kind of skin color i mean that's kind of racist you want to ask me you just call it burnt flesh i mean he's better off just saying brown flesh burnt flesh it's like uh you know it's it's a little racist that's what i used on the candy man so it's like <laughs> we know what you mean but damn Oh, yeah, man. Places are expensive. They are expensive.
damn it. Zero's doing good, man. He's working. Um, he works at a. He makes tombstones, but now he's in the art department. It's what he wanted. Uh, he was on second. Now he's on the night shift, and uh, he's tattooing up, man. He's doing real good. I think he's having a barbecue in May, and I'm going to try to make it because he lives an hour from me. But yeah, he's doing real good, man. He loves it out here. You know? Da, 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 da. I think that's it for the flesh stone. Yeah, because right here I'm making red. So I'm going to have to put it on right around here with the brick because that's skin. So I'm going to make this red. Right there is going to be skin. That's going to be red, red. And that's going to be skin. So right through here. I'm just making a mental note. I know I'm going to forget it, so I don't know why I'm doing it. Let that sit and dry. Thanks, man. Yeah, we're almost 1,700. We'll hit 2,000. We'll get there. I haven't put a lot of content out. We would have hit 2,000, but like I said, I was so worried about moving the studio and getting everything situated. And now, you know, I'm getting back and I have so much <laughs> to paint that I just kept printing and printing and printing. And, uh, so, uh, yeah, I have to do uh, my FDM printer, my K1 Max. It's, it's, I don't know what's going on with that. It's not printing right. And I'm trying to print my son a, a life-size uh, Thor hammer, which I have the handle, which I'm probably just going to wait till uh, my screen protector comes in. I'll just print it on there, which I don't like doing resin because I, he's going to smack things with it. And resin, you don't make his tools or like cosplay, really. You know, I mean, you can, but like for kids, because resin's going to break. You know, you got to hollow it out. Uh, so stuff like that, like a Thor hammer or a sword, you want to do it on FDM. All right. So after, so I got the skin tone.
so we got the skin tone. Uh, so I'll probably do the eyes. Next, actually, I should do the mouth and the teeth. I gotta touch up the cowl. Mm. I'm just debating do I do the brush on the gums? Cause I gotta spray inside the mouth. Which I could put this up. No, I know uh, if I do another, like Michael or another one, I might do it like a, a uh, concrete, like a tombstone. I might do that with Superman, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's like, um, I might just do the eyes next. You know, but he's getting there. I said when I put a wash on him, and I always do the wash last usually. I put because when you do a wash, you want to clear coat it, and I'm not gonna put a gloss. I'm gonna put a matte. I don't like a lot of glossy unless you know it needs it. Like a Robocop, he's gonna need gloss from you know his his waist and his gloves, but uh. That's why if, when you do a wash and if it's too much, you can wipe it off with water. You don't have to worry about losing the paint. Of course, I'm going to have to do touch-ups, you know, but that's with the brush because there's already enough uh, coats on here to just go right on. So I'll probably do, like, next week, starting next week. Or I might do it off stream, just uh, do the mouth because that's going to take some time because you know I got to tilt in here and you're not going to be able to see much but leave the eyes it's like I'm only going on or to like to 15 more minutes I'm jumping off but I figure Batman is going to be Saturday and then RoboCop is going to be Mondays and Wednesday which Wednesday we should be able to finish RoboCop because I'm not going to be doing a lot on his base So we're going to set this guy to the side and let him completely. There's another, I need to get a table. Right here. And as you see, I started working on Robocop and I used a gloss paint. But I'm going to be using a gloss clear coat on him because, you know, he's metallic and he's going to be shiny. So I already started on him. See, I got overspray from the primer, which is fine because I'll rehit it with black. Yeah. So I can put him. Put this upside down. Put him right here because we're going to be starting on him Monday. And here's the legs. Very detailed. Very, very detailed print. But yeah, um, you can see the bumps in here because uh, I messed with the supports. Now my supports peel right off like a band aid. Got his head, which you know I should have thought about this when I already had the base paint out. Should have just based this, you know, go ahead and do the skin tone here. But the base on this is going to take the longest. Uh, 
because we got this and this. And then we got this. See, that's what I like about the GoPro being here. I can just put it right here. And I'm just going to do the screens black and white. I'm not going to put any color into it. Because, uh, I might have to reprint that. I don't know what the hell those lines are. And then again, what the hell? But I'm not going to do the character skin tone because that Jill will take too long. And not this dude. So, yeah. Robocop's next. I mean, I have to do Robocop. He's my, I really like the character. But yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not having a clean look. They didn't do the battle warm because I'm trying to find it. Because I have his other head right there. And if they did the, the battle worn, version I was going to use this because you see right here the detail that's where they shot him in the head I know what those lines are my, my veil plate was getting loose that's what they must caused it because my prints was filling and then the, the bill plate was loose like I can literally shake the bill plate and you're not supposed to. So yeah. But yeah, um, I'm really surprised, like, cause they got a sculpture of him too, like a a bust. And you figured they would do the battles, but that's uh, it was the first one, but that was really the second one too second one he got his ass kicked <laughs> in the second one you know uh but uh i always enjoyed the clean version you know and uh when i seen him like i have to do robocop you know he's i remember watching all of them when i was a, I was a kid so when i saw him, i was like <gasps> and it's you know if you're getting into 3d printing or just painting like i said i'm not really a pro i'm learning as i go as well but if you're getting into painting i think robocop really is the best uh one to print first because there's nothing really to it i mean skin tone's hard but if you have like this the set the uh what's what's what the hell is this set uh for i threw it away but uh you know you get the base and you know and you get the natural uh, or natural flesh it's like about a layer and then the lips it's really just you know metallic or chrome whatever you want to use aluminum and black that's all it's to him I mean, now if you go to look at like the second one of robocop he has like a bluish tint and really all you have to do is add like a little blue to your metallic if you want that but i'm just doing like a metallic i mean i got three different ones i got this one like i said i'm gonna get a i'm gonna get a uh wrong one I'm going to get like uh, plastic spoons and spray it on there and see which one I like the best and I'll stick. And that's another thing is when I do these, I kind of want to do like my own color because everybody does it the same way. So I want to do stuff that's custom that nobody has. But I think this would either this or Batman would be real easy to do at beginners because Batman's really, you can just do all black, like the 89 version or, you know, you can do, um, the Ben Affleck, which is like gray, which what I'm doing with the zombies, what's really I'm doing the Ben Affleck color. And uh, just so you do all gray, then like black. So uh, the cow can be gray or black or light, dark gray and then like a light gray and the, and the symbol black, you know, so. But I, th I noticed that a lot of people are scared 
or not scared, they're probably intimidating to paint, but you know, you just, just do it and you learn like anything. The more you do it, you watch videos and that's all I do. I'll watch videos and I'll say to myself, well, I'd probably do it this way and I'll do it. And that's how I learn. But, uh, like you want that realistic look, you know, I have no tips for that because I don't know how to do that. And I don't like doing it because at the same time, you know, it's, these are models, you know, I know people want it like realistic looking, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's plastic, you know, and it's sitting up like right now I can make, say I made Candyman look realistic as all hell, but you can't see it because you blurred out because of the camera. So, you know, if it's like 10, four, like right beside you and you're going to see all the detail, I'm like, who gives the damn? You know, just spray it with paint, trying to get as close as you can with flesh paint because it's cool anyway. You know, you're going to see Robocop. You're going to see Candyman. You're going to see, like, Freddy Krueger. It's just, it's like, that's cool, you know. But I get why people do do something that's realistic because that's what they want. That's what they like doing. You know, you want that wow factor. My wow factor is somebody's making these, you know, these molds or these, these models. And it's like, yeah, I've never seen that before. That's the wow factor. I think not how it looks it's like wow i never seen that before you know so that's how i what my mindset with the 3d world is you know just just do it practice and if it for me it's hard because <laughs> i'm never happy hey scott what's going on buddy we're just about to shut down in about 10 minutes because uh i'm pretty sure craven's going to be streaming and i don't want to interfere with the stream uh i was going to stream at five o'clock i'm like you know let's make it seven a little later but, uh, yeah, so it's like I'm picky when it comes to this. Like the Predator bust that I made, everybody loved, I still didn't like it. It's like oh, I could do this and this and this, and that's really a good thing. But it can also be bad at the same time because with something like you look like that, I don't really like that. I should have done this. This is terrible. Somebody else would be like, you're kidding. This looks fantastic. So, yeah. But there's the, the shot because Scott came in. Robocop's Monday and Wednesday. And Batman, like I said, we just did the cow and the flesh tone on his face. And I'm going to stop there. You know. Uh, we're going to finish him on Saturdays. But I'm trying to... Uh, I'm trying to get like a structure of the show. Like this is going to be Mondays and Wednesdays and Saturdays is going to be this model. Cause I have a lot to paint. Um, the Freddy Krueger phone, I'm probably going to do that off camera because I'm basically done with it. You know, like I said, it's here it is. I just got to do this and uh, reprint the bottom and paint the bottom. And this is done. So I probably won't paint that. I'll probably do that off uh screen because it ain't gonna take that long oh look at this now here's the thing this sucks not that not that this seven months of a members now ecam did something really really cool is i can celebrate with fireworks but here's the here's the problem as soon as i hit it my camera freezes up and i have to shut the whole program down so I have to email them or let them know on Facebook groups like, hey, this this is happening. Now, it's only this camera because I guess it's a USB drive, you know, to a cam link. If I have it on the, the webcam on the, my laptop, everything's fine. It, it's just completely fine. But like fireworks and balloons, I'm like, this would be cool because when you all, you know, uh, celebrate, you know, your anniversary, I can hit it. Like, yeah, we got an anniversary, but it, it freezes. So I don't. <laughs> Maybe uh, Monday, I'll just do the webcam and I can show you all, you know. I mean, it's cool. Have I done any OG Myers, uh, Myers mask? The only OG I did, uh, uh, May Ann got it, uh, the bust. I did that one. There's not a lot out there, Scott. There's really not a lot out there. Uh, they all look like shit, I'll be honest with you. Uh, you might see one. The only one I seen that looked was like the Rob Zombie one. It looked good, but somebody did like a 2018. It looks it just looked like shit. And someone trying to do like a 70, like a, uh, a the 78, and it like the only good one was the bust that I have. Uh, so 
I did. That's the only one I did. There's not a lot out there. Uh, the Patri- uh, Jules Malato, the Patreon I follow, everybody he does suggestions. So every once a month, you can throw your suggestion out there. And I've been doing uh, John Craven or John Craven, uh, uh, John Carver. But everybody's throwing out like 2018 Michael Myers and 78 uh, Michael Myers. So people's putting it in. But how he does it, it, he rotates the wheel three times, and on that third time, you win. And the Freddy Krueger with the that jacket, that was my pick. The first time I did it, mine got picked. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going for John Carver. There's, nobody's done it yet. I'm surprised nobody's done it. But uh, I, I went on Fiverr and talked to a, um, a 3D designer about John Carver because he won the poll, you know, that I did. I really wanted John Carver. And I was, you know, I was telling him, everybody's like, you need to do it because you'll sell a lot because there's none out there. Or the angel killer from uh, What a Wonderful Knife. Yeah, you know, I thought about getting in mask making, you know, like molding and everything, but that's just too time consuming. <laughs> I mean, this is time consuming, uh, doing all this, you know. But uh, I really thought about you know buying the stuff and making actually silicone masks more than latex masks. It scares you because it looks real. It don't look look that real. I mean, I know there's the detail. Any, you know, but yeah, I mean, I mean, look at the size of his head. And the thing, the funny thing is, this is a really funny, funny deal. It don't fit the body. <laughs> I don't know what size it is. I'm guessing I did 150 and the body 130, but I had to break it because it wouldn't fit. I mean, hang on, I'll show you the body. I mean, I have to glue it. You might think it looks like it fits. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't fit on the side. But I'm keeping it. But I'll show you how big it is. All right? As you can see here. <laughs> so, I scaled it. You want to know what the original size is? This is the original size. This is the 100% scale size. See a big difference? <laughs> so I'm thinking I scaled it like 150 and the body's like 130. But yeah, this is the original size that when you put it in the slicer, 100. And the detail on it is kind of crazy because I dropped it down to like 30 uh, microns. This one's set at 50. This one's set at 30, which this took me, this little thing right here took me like 20 hours to print. At 50 microns, this took 22 hours. But this is when you put it in the slicer, this is the size, and I scaled it bigger. <laughs> oh, the bust, yeah. It's a good looking, it's a good looking bust, but yeah, this is a, uh, difference between scaling then when i say i don't print small shit this is small shit this is what i print but the downside of printing big stuff you will run out of paint and paint is expensive but yeah so there you go i might paint this one up and just give this away you know i gotta cut this off but yeah it's like uh, it's good detail but i mean if you can really look at it i mean you can see the pupils in this one and this is the difference that small, you really can't see it. So yeah, but I love this. You know, I love doing this. This is fun. Um, there's a lot this in store, you know. And a shout out to my members, which I don't, because I went back to Ecam and I changed the name, so I haven't got a whole member. Shout out, which there's only one tier now, two ninety nine. Just the, uh, just uh, the emotes and everything. Uh, giving away, I'm just every once in a while I'm gonna give something away, and it's the people who join the stream. 
you know, uh, not just the members because <sighs> resin's getting expensive, especially when you print big shit like that. And I know, I know what you're thinking. Common sense, JT, quit printing stuff like that. But it's fun. But I, I'm strictly going to be sticking to things like this. This is one six scale, you know. I like doing those. So yeah. You know, oh, the reason why you can't really hear me because my boom mic, when I'm like this, you know, uh, because I have a wireless and uh, it's not, well, it should be worked now because I got a different uh, paint booth. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, if you want to, you want to. But yeah, like I said, it's one tier, two ninety nine, and uh, I'll just give uh, prints away. Like one of those, you never know when I might give one away or what I might give away. You know, it's a it's a surprise factor. But um, yeah. But that's gonna be it, folks. I'm gonna be jumping off here. I'm gonna call it a stream. Uh, we got pretty far. Yeah, I figured we'd get to the flesh tone. I finished the flesh tone, so. Uh, if you haven't hit that like button, appreciate it. If you're watching this stream, uh, the replay, hit the like, subscribe, welcome to the community. If you want to be a member, it's also in the description, $2.99. You know, just emotes and everything. That's just uh, no giveaways just yet. You know, well, I'm still kind of ironing that out, you know, because some people like Mayan and Jerry, you know, they show up, you know, every stream and, you know, we had like fit 20 members, but we never really saw them in the chat. So it's like, okay, they just jo join in and trying to get a free, a uh, like a free print. And if so, that's just not cool for the people. Like say if they win and the people who's always here, they don't win. So that's why I'm just strictly just, if we're going to give it away, it's going to be for the people who's in the chat. Uh, no members or anything. I think that's fair for everybody. And, uh, and it's just a surprise factor. So yeah, two ninety nine, not a bad deal, you know. And the, the more people we get, the more emotes. And of course, we'll we'll take votes on the more people we get. All right, what's the next emote we should add and everything? But uh, I'm sure to sure uh, Craven, which I have his uh, channel in the description. They can go follow him at night. I think he's streaming. That's why it's like if he streams, it's gonna be ten o'clock, and I gotta eat, and I don't like getting in between the streams. But yeah, so that's Batman, Zombie Batman. Next week we're gonna continue. Uh, we should be able to get to the body and everything and the base. We should finish him next Saturday. We're gonna be doing these on a, only on a Saturday. Robocop's Monday and Wednesday. So until then, I'm JT. This is M Street Studio, and uh, I catch you on the next one. Peace.